Hello team, my name is Talaman. Welcome to a game called Soul Lash, or Soul Lash. Um, it's made by a, a game designer called Wizard of the Code. So I found it off itch.io. It's going to be a super chill game by the looks of it. Um, not necessarily chill, except for the fact that it's like... Um, it plays a bit like if we, you watch me play Dwarf Fortress at all, I still need to get back to that game. But either way, it, it's got that kind of same like tile design, and I think... I'm going to be calling myself Talon Man, because that's who I am. Um, and then I've got points that I guess I can apply. And I guess this is like an RPG game. Uh, it might be turn-based, but I'm not totally 100% sure on that. Let's up my decks. And let's go with some additional intelligence. And... Ooh. Ooh, I get to... Oh! Human? What's a... Oh my god, there's so much in this. I'm going to read for a bit, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back, and I, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do, and I think I'm going to, unfortunately, be kind of basic. Um, the rest of these are, of course, the Lich, Orc, Troll, Vampire, Dark Elf, and Rasimi, I think is how you would say it. Kind of Khajiit, I think, if we were talking Skyrim terms. But these are all the options. I don't actually want to be any of them except a human. I would have loved to have been like a regular elf, but I think this game is targeted more towards being uh, kind of a dark take on things. Um, and for me, I'm I'm not interested in being a poacher. Just purely here, this is the only line that like makes it like I don't want to do it. But it's species under protection or nearing extinction is fair game for them. Uh-uh. No, I'm sorry. Uh-uh. Not me. And then I'm not. Warlock would actually be kind of cool. Actually, that'd be super cool. But I'm not as interested in, like, the, the necro, like, magic kind of stuff. Just for me, I'm... I'm if we're talking honestly, like, stuff, I'm, I'm more lawful good or lawful, like, chaotic, kind of. But I'm not interested in, like, the dark, evil side of things. So, unfortunately, this game is... Its style is not one that will jive as easily with me. But I still enjoy the adventure. So, I'm going to be a fallen knight. And, basically, it's just... You're a, you're a knight, you have long abandoned the virtuous path for profit. So basically, I just want money. So I'm just, I'm gonna take some money to do some bad stuff. Ooh, that was loud. All right. Oh. Oh, it's... Oh, man, it is actually, um... Okay, why is WASD all backwards? You can move with WASD and rotate with Q and E. Ah, there we go. Press I to display in-game tutorials. Press J to display tutorials. Oh. Welcome to Soul Lash. You have taken the role of forgotten god that has escaped the dream world into the mortal realm. Describing this place, you had to take over the body of Talaman, the human fallen knight. Your goal is to steal souls from the powerful mortals to regain your strength and challenge the new pantheon of gods. Your character is represented by at sign. You can find it in the center part of your screen. The game time moves when you take actions only, so don't rush and try to familiarize yourself with the screen. Thank you for supporting the game, and good luck on your journey. Ah, okay. Rogue-like, I think, uh, or movement. WASD, forward, back, q and &E, rotate left and right, green dot, sight direction indicator shows direction you're looking. Every being with eyes in the game will have an indicator. Green indicates you are in sight. Yellow means you have been noticed. Red color means the, the enemy is unaware of your presence yet. Uh, gray, which means that someone is sleeping. Soul Lash is a classic roguelike. Some of the features you can expect here are challenging turn-based gameplay with permanent death. When your character dies, your save game is deleted. Soul Lash is a big, consistent, and open world with many types of locations to explore. You can go wherever you want to. But if you don't have an idea of what to do, you can look at the world map and go to one of the indicators. Looking around, you can use your mouse to target a tile on the map and hold left shift to see a description of everything that is there. Tutorials. Uh, left part displays statistics to your characters. You can read their descriptions by hovering the cursor over the names. Also in that part, you can find damage and protection of your character as well as hit and parry chance. These values will be explained more in depth when you get into combat. The middle part displays equipment, items that your character currently wears. Uh, this is... Yeah, inventory screen. Middle part, character wears armor, clothes, weapons, shields, or jewelry. Saw a description by hovering your mouse over them. Uh, backpack is the last part of the screen where you can find everything you are carrying. By selecting an item, you will see the list of available actions to the right with highlighted hotkeys associated with them. You can also double-click an item to put it in one of the available equipment slots. Excuse me. All right. Ah, so I... Oh, wow. That is... 
That is unique. Oh, and I do use the mouse quite a bit. Only a dwarf can really appreciate a stone, especially when it crushes a goblin's skull. Okay. Picking up items. When items are on the ground in a range of one tile, you will see a small window to the left with their icons. You can click on the item to pick it up. Some items might be too heavy, but you will be notified in the message log. You can see the current carry weight at the bottom of your backpack. You can also drop items you don't need on the ground by selecting them in your inventory screen I and pressing the D key. Okay. Oh my lord. Okay, pick up the dead tree trunk. Can I pick it up? No. Um, so the rabbit... This is probably going to tell me about... Sta oh, do you see the stamina bar at the top left of your screen? I do. That is your stamina bar. Your stamina is being depleted by your actions like movement, attacking, or crafting. You can increase endurance statistics to reduce the stamina reduction. If you're gaining your stamina, you're pressing R key to rest. Try to rest now. Try to rest for a bit, but manage to regain some stamina. Thirst, hunger, starvation, dehydration. Stamina and fatigue. Fatigue will go... The, if fatigue will go up to 100, the character will lose consciousness and automatically go to sleep. If fatigue will go up to 100. Weird. That's, that's a weird way of saying it. The character will die if you basically run out. Let's see. The tree trunk is too heavy. Can I attack the rabbit here? Um... Oh, so that's a hill. That's an elevation change right there. I think. Or no, it's because the bush was in the way. Yellowtail fish man. Uh, let's see what the... Uh, not that. J. Oh, your fatigue can't regain more stamina. Try... Find a safe place to sleep. Uh, fatigue. After you take a rest action, you might have noticed that your stamina bar is an orange indicator at the end. This is fatigue and you will gain more of it when you rest. Fatigue reduces your maximum stamina by its amount, but you can reduce it with sleeping action R key. Sleeping can be dangerous if done in open space where an enemy group can stumble upon you. Do you see that red flash in the dark? It means your character heard something suspicious there. You can detect threats more frequently by increasing willpower and hide from others with higher dexterity. This is not going to help you if you are in the line of sight of your enemies. Remember to look at colored indicators described previously. Okay. Is that little red dot there in front of my face? Okay, so green now means he has discovered me. So let's get into some combat here. I'm gonna sidestep, sidestep, sidestep one. We need all the requirements. Why don't I... requires? Do I not have an? Is this not equipped? I'm having a knife equipped. Okay. Bandage and a stone. Oh, that's a throwing weapon. Can I sign it there? No. Okay, let's find out what Jay has to say. Combat. The most basic form of combat in Soul Lash is melee fighting. To attack someone in melee, you have to walk into your target, and a single attack will be made automatically. Two if you have a weapon in each hand. If you have a ranged weapon like a bow, crossbow, or throwing weapon, you can target enemies at range by pressing the T and selecting your target. Other than regular attacks, there are special abilities. Typically, you will start with the first ability of your choosing of your chosen profession. You can access the list of known abilities by pressing V and assigning them to a hotkey. Your first ability should already be available under key 1. You can read the ability description by hovering your cursor over the ability icon to examine it. World map. You can access the map of the known world by pressing the M key or selecting the map action icon in the action bar. The world of Solash consists of multiple regions that span across the noble world, including many underground or above ground places for you to discover. When you look around in the map screen, you will see indicators question mark, which means there might be something of interest there. While exclamation point is the current goal of the game, you can see the name region you are in at the top right corner of the screen above the mini map. Whew, lots of information. Gotcha. Okay. Parry, 20%, but the attack is parried. Yellowstale. Fisherman is stunned for 0.3. Talman deals 8 damage physical with the bash to Yellowtail Fisherman. Okay, he's at 30. I'm at 99 out of 100. Okay, and the attack is parried. Attack is parried. So that seems to use a bit of my stamina. Does it cost stamina? Stamina 5. So it does actually cause something. I deal 11 physical damage to the Fisherman. I still have one hit. Okay. I've managed to miss again. Alright, we're just going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap that up. Primitive sword. Bone made 
blade made of human bone. That I don't like. Uh, wow, there's even durability to them. Fisherman corpse. Uh, liquid source, 75 blood. Butcherability, 0%. So not worth it. Do I get experience? Do I have experience levels? I have no idea. Let's find out. Leveling up. Here's the idea of experience. You're getting close to the second level. When you kill someone or something, you acquire souls, which in turn allow you to gain power. Blue bar at the bottom of your screen indicates how much more is required for you to advance. Wherever you level up, you will be able to choose one of three different abilities. First one will always be an ability of your chosen profession. The rest will be turned randomly. On every level, you will gain five points to increase your statistics. So there's my experience. Five out of 100. Is there... Oh! Oh! I heard a sound. There's another sound. Ah, a rabbit. A rabbit! Can I get him? Ooh, I just smacked him. I'm gonna get myself a rabbit. Ooh! Rabbit corpse. Butcherable, zero. Skinnable, zero. Um... Let's rest again. There. Took a rest. Let's check out that world map. Ah. Ooh, but there is something interesting over there. So I'm going to head towards that marker. Let's go. Oh, do you see that? Okay, I have not seen... That's awesome. Okay, do you see the parallax effect? When I'm walking by this tree here, notice how it's straight up right now. Now if I go past it, the tree is now bent away from me down because I have the exact perspective of top down. That's incredible. I mean, it, it's not that incredible. Okay. Hare and Fusco. Fisherman. Is he aggressive? Is he attacking me? He's attacking me. Isn't he? Advanced combat. When you make an attack against your enemy, your hit chance is compared to your target's parry chance to determine the check is successful. You can see your hit chance and parry chance in the left part of your inventory screen. I, if the hit was successful, the body part affected is then determined and based upon that, up to four items are considered for protection. To see which item slots defend certain part, body parts, hover your cursor over one of the columns under resistance section in your inventory screen. The amount of damage determined by your weapon and statistics is dealt to the enemy. To dexterity increases damage of daggers and ranged weapons dealing physical attacks. Strength increases physical damage of axes, maces, spears, swords, natural, and improvised melee weapons. Intelligence increases magic defense like fire, holy, and poison dealt with either weapon or ability before health is lowered. Oh man. The damage is first reduced by protection gained from statistics. Endurance reduces damage. Willpower reduces damage to magical sources. Don't worry, you don't have to remember this. Value for damage and protection to your body parts can be viewed at any time in the left section of your inventory screen. Phew. Tons of info. Let's just kick the crap out of this guy. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's definitely bash him. Can I... There it is. It does. I wondered. There we go. He is now dead. Okay. So these are hairs? Let's just kick him a little bit. There's a hair over here as well. Got it. See, that's counting for XP, so I, I figure there's no reason I shouldn't. Alright, I rested a bit. But look at that, like the trees are parallaxing across there. I hope this game is at least interesting. Ah, the river's a dangerous place, isn't it? Bash him a little bit. Mess him up. And there we go. Primitive spear. Wait one. No talk of cost yet. So I wonder if there is a buying and selling to this at all. Who's that? Owl man. Owl man, what are you? Okay. Just bash him up a little bit. And... Is he dead? He's dead. Rags. What am I wearing? Do I have anything on? Cloak? Yes? No? Not so cute anymore. That's sad. I'm sorry, guys. Um... What do I take? Claws of the Saint. Weapon. Two-handed. Uh, range one. Claws of the Beast make for a natural weapon... What weapon? Natural. Oh, so it's a natural weapon. I see. Okay, so here's some more combat. I'm 
really not interested in dying, so that's kind of messed up. I'll take the weapon, just because I think I might be able to... Oh, there's a lot of you enemies, isn't there? See, that's not good. Gonna rest a little bit. There's some rest. Bash him up a little bit. Oh. Oh, did I lose my weapon? I did. It's broken. So it's out of durability. So now I have to take him down with my knife. Got it. I'm going to take that spear just in case. Because I feel like... I don't know. This is going to be better. Oh, is that the edge of the map? You would await... <laughs> Only death would await you there. So this is, is the demo, mind you. This is the demo of the game. So basically, I'm just... Oh, the... Oh, no. Okay. I'm, I'm dead. There's no way I'm not dead. Uh, T to attack with melee? Nope, that ain't gonna work. Let's just try and get a little closer before I die. I'm dead, aren't I? Usable, speeding up, health regen. And I died. That was that. That was that. That was that was certainly interesting. Um, you took over the body of human fallen knight named Taliban and managed to achieve level one with 43% progress to next level. Survived zero days, six hours. You have gathered nine souls of mortal beings. You broke one weapon and zero wearable items. I didn't eat or drink. So that's interesting. Um, so I am dead there. That that was me. That like that was that character. I'm dead now, and we would get to try again. This is the demo. Um, I'm gonna try it another time, and let's see what happens. All right. So I started a new character. I've been doing a few things, um, just to try and like understand what's been going on. And come on, there it is. So I, for the most part, really all I did was jump in, do some combat. I've been killing a few things to try and, like, I don't know, not level up necessarily, but just understanding more of, like, what's going on. So, like, this guy. I'm just gonna kick the crap out of him. There we go. Grabbing up that. I'm gonna grab up some stones. That's a couple of fishermen. Alright, let's run away for a second here. Let's see if we can just kind of get away. That's the edge of the map. Not good. Um, to rest until fully healed. Let's grab. I. What can I do? Can I equip that item? Drop item? Split item? Stack? All right. Let's do this. Cause I I have to. Okay. We did zero damage. That ain't good. Let's put that on. And rest. So they get here. We're gonna try and end their careers as quickly as possible. And there. There we go, we did it. Um, we're up to 39, so we're doing pretty much just as well as the last character we were playing through with. Can I ford the river? I can. Alright. I really need to like sleep. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, bush. So yeah, let... Shoot. Can I hide behind a tree? Nope. I failed to do so. Okay, rest up. Hop on out. Bash. Bash a little bit. There it is. We did it. At least at that point here. Hey, is that a mushroom? What do we got here? A wild orange mushroom. Might be edible. Okay, I, I am going to try sleeping, so pressing H, okay, you're fatigued, you can't regain more stamina, try finding safe place to sleep, so yeah, I need to get to a safe place to sleep, what are we looking at here, maple tree, I don't have anything to woodcut with, it's a very good game, like look at this, look at this art style, I, I really haven't, like, other than Dwarf Fortress, I have seen some styles like this. 
See, that's not good. See, that's really not good. It's res. Oh, that hurt. It really was that wizard, though. That wizard did me in. I think I would have been all right enough otherwise. What time of day is it? Late evening. How did I know to find time of day by looking up there? I didn't. Okay, let's double check that world map here. There used to be a question mark. There's no more question mark. That's not good. I was hoping for a question mark to give me some direction to my gameplay. Okay. Oh, what are you? What are you? As a human woodcutter. He looks a little harder than the other ones. Not much left on the mace. All right. Oh, there's an owl man. Ah, okay. Okay, he's dead. Take his, take his pants. Don't take his corpse. Um, sure, I'll take his shirt and rest. How much do I have left? I'm holding the knife. Hit plus one, hit plus one, parry one, parry zero, damage one to two, physical two to four, one to five. Uh, damage two to five, two to six. Let's use the primitive sword. Let's just use that for a minute here. Let's put on the pants. I don't appreciate that. Okay, here we go. I can still use my ability. That's good to know with that bone sword. My health's doing all right enough couple of dead things around. I thought I was wearing a shirt before, so the fact that I wasn't is kind of questionable. Oh, nope, put that on. That's a good thing to have. But now what I can do, as far as I can tell, is chop a tree down. Tree trunk. And its weight is far too much. I haven't figured out how to do crafting yet, but there is crafting. Like, tools, stone three. So I could just make up a stone axe or a stone mallet. The thing that I would love to do is get a fishing rod. Because then I can actually, I feel like I could make food. Because that, that's kind of my other question. Is like, I should be able to make food, shouldn't I? And there's like, oh god, where's home? Is it dark because it's dark out? Rest, rest. Wait, what's going on? Oh, I can barely see. Thirst. They need to consume water or blood when playing a vampire, and it's represented by one of the bars at the top left. When thirst drops below zero, you will gain a dehydration mark. Every dehydration mark reduces your all your Every dehydration mark, reduce all your basic statistics by one, two for vampires. When dehydration marks fill the bar, ten marks, your character will die. Um, you can drink from containers holding liquids or from other liquid sources on the map, like wells and rivers. To drink, you can either select an action with the icon showing a well, blood for vampires, or the U key and select the U liquid source on the map. To have this action available, you need to be close to a water source, like river or water well. Got it. So, oh, hey. Oh. That is, what did I just chop? Tree trunk, resource, wood, rest. Log, log is too heavy to pick up. Huh, but now here's a wall. Okay, what can I do with this wall? Window, is that a building? I don't mean to cut the tree. Let me inside. I hope I don't have to kill anything. That would really suck. Can I just walk through this? Oh my goodness. We're inside a little house. But notice how it looks three-dimensionalized. Like, the world has three dimensions. It's like a pseudo-2D world. That's awesome. I don't want to pick it up. I just want to press H. Can I enter onto the bed? Okay. That's not good. Can I shut this? How would I shut this? You interact? I got questions. I have lots of questions. Uh, let's bash. 
rest for it. Okay. It's Magnus. I'm definitely screwed. I'm not terribly screwed, though. Okay, he's not doing too hot either. I was so close. Oh, oh, dang it. Oh no, I could have sworn I would have Magnus the Magnificent. I thought I could do it. I really thought I could, but I could not and I died. This is actually a ton of fun. This game is actually really, really good. And this is just the demo. If you do want me to play more of it in the demo form, or if you'd like to talk to me about getting it for myself and actually like buying and things like that, please tell me about it in the comments below. Let me know. I enjoy this so much. I love games like this where you can kind of like imagine it and play through in your own head. And it's got all that back, back end, like all the information behind it, letting you know what's going on. That's what makes it fun to me is like, it, there's so much more to it than just, you know, the basic like, visual interface uh, which is awesome a visual interface is great but the UI here is the experience of just getting to know all the info and all the extra stuff there so this is a ton of fun thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys again in another video bye bye